swimming 17 miles across this body of water that separates Long Island and Connecticut might seem like a long, difficult struggle for some and near impossible for most. It's a challenge that requires strength, support, a will to succeed, and hard work. It's not unlike the journey on which one embarks when told that they have cancer. To help those with this dreaded disease, people from many walks of life contributed to an idea, an idea that began in the middle 1980s, that was both symbolic of the struggle to beat cancer and would grow to raise millions of dollars to support what today has become one of New England's largest cancer support and screening programs. St. Vincent's Swim Across the Sound. Why do so many people get involved? There are probably as many reasons as there are people. I just had a cousin who was buried today from lung cancer. My uncle died last year. We've had a lot of people in our family that have had it. My mother died of cancer. One of the main reasons is because my mom died from cancer. Well, I did it to help my mom because she has cancer and I also wanted to help other people. My wife has cancer in both breasts. I myself had a little bit of a brush with cancer last year and uh, I'm, I'm healthy. I love being surrounded by people like that, you know, make a career out of helping other people. My wife is a survivor and we've been exposed to cancer, but Marie's loss is great to us. It's been very exciting for us as a company, but uh, more importantly, to give back to the community. Every time somebody does give a donation, we say thank you. And you get so many people say no, thank you. And if you're having a rough day, that really lifts your spirit and gets you going again. And of course, when my wife got diagnosed with breast cancer, it even became closer to home. Yes, my mother died of cancer. Yes, I've had family members who've died of cancer, uh, so it's a very personal issue. And I also know that the money for the Swim Across the Sound goes to the people rather than for other administrative costs. And I think that's important. There are noteworthy people who support the swim, such as Governor John Rowland, Attorney General Richard Blumenthal, Senator Joe Lieberman. The swim Across the Sound is one of my favorite charities. It, it just does so much uh, to help in a cause that's so important to almost every family. Designer Joseph Abood and baseball great Bobby Valentine. Swim Across the Sound's been uh, going now for 15 years and uh, I'm proud that uh, I have an opportunity to be part of it uh, to maybe make a difference in some people's lives. Dr. Frank Schifo, three-time co-chairman of Swim Across the Sound. We've kind of adopted a phrase for the swim, and that is that everyone knows somebody. By that we mean that if cancer doesn't affect your life, I'm sure that in your lifetime you will know someone who has unfortunately had to deal with cancer. And I think that it's uh, extremely important for all of us to recognize, but there, for the grace of God, go I. Sponsors like Mohegan Sun, Anthem Blue Cross, AMR, Coca-Cola, Dr. Bob Russo, and Sal Donato, plus new major sponsors such as Stop and Shop and Walmart contribute greatly to the swim. Financial support for the swim comes in many forms. There are those that give one dollar at a time. Last year, more than $52,000 worth of paper bluefish, a wonderful symbol of the swim across the sound, were bought by people throughout Connecticut. Peoples and Fleet Banks, Walmart and Harbor Yard, the home of the Bridgeport Bluefish, are among those who welcome the sale of these paper fish to help those with cancer. The swim involves people of all ages, from the Aquathon, where swimmers of every shape and size swim to raise money for cancer victims, to children at Hillcrest Junior High in Trumbull who raised funds to support a classmate needing a bone marrow transplant, and students of the Bridgeport school system who participated with United Illuminating to establish an endowment to help children with cancer. Swiss Army Brands helps in many ways to support the programs and people who are helped by the swim. They partner with the Trumbull school system to aid this cause. There's the inspiring Sikorsky Walk to raise money to help victims of women's cancers that begins and ends at Captain's Cove Seaport in Bridgeport. Getting walkers and donations. A tree is planted in honor of cancer survivors. 
there are luncheons. And I thank you so much for coming and sharing it with us and helping us continue this success. Thank you. Breakfasts and dinners. I told Ron that the next week or two we're going to decide the goal for next All year. All to honor those who have volunteered. Thank you very much, John. Those who have contributed and those who have been helped. Joyce Bashara. An annual Radiothon is held on WICC on co-swim chairman John LaBarca's show. If I knew about the swim across the sound then, you know, I would have had my dad at least another 10 years. My father, this is very hard for me, was a special man. The fundraising events each year become bigger and more spectacular. Events include a very special movie premiere presented by Al and Alita Kleban. The bike along the sound was chaired by Al and Sue Poirier. Stu Schwartz and his great supportive team from Icon led the 100 mile rally. This past year, celebrities from Broadway, including the cast of 42nd Street and the producers, played a game of softball at Frank DeLuca Hall of Fame ballpark to benefit the swim's fundraising efforts. I certainly have friends and family who have succumbed to cancer, so whatever I can do to help out and get money in, happy to be here. And of course, Swim Day at the Cove, when people come to support the main event. Today, the swim annually supports over 16,000 people. 33 programs are fully funded by this event. There is hardly a need that has been identified where the swim has not responded. The range of activities include mammography screening, where thousands of women are assisted annually, a hospice program in concert with VNS of Connecticut, which cares for needy patients toward the end of their life. A smoke stoppers program for teens to help young people eliminate their addiction before it causes their lives to end too soon. And a prostate cancer institute created by Frank Morris, whose leadership has enabled it to be endowed for a million dollars so that it may exist forever. Among these free services and programs is a free circus for children who are sick. It's a special circus from circus founder, Betty Freem. We like to see kids smile. As is the case so many times in a project like this, there are people who stand out. One special person who always went the extra mile for the swim across the sound was a young man named Lou Malatesta. And we want to just keep things going, and we want everyone just to keep supporting this great organization. Whether it was biking, running, swimming or counseling young people with cancer. Lou was always there. Lou not only helped people with cancer, Lou had cancer. Lou's wife, Lisa. It was a long time before we realized that things were not bottoming out and coming back, you know. And you go through a, you know, a big transformation, you know, in your, in your way of thinking. And the difficult part is the suffering. Lou was a one-of-a-kind special person. Lou's mother, Louise. And at the therapy room, they called him the king of therapy. As soon as he came in and someone was started therapy, they said, okay, Louie, you sit next to this one. And, you know, he would sort of give them the uplift deal about starting on chemo. And this is what he did all the time, the four years that he went down there to, uh, for his chemo. That last day, I just knew and he just called and he said to me, give me a kiss, Mom. No matter how hard we try, some lose the fight against this dreaded disease. 
Lou lost his battle in the summer of 1999. Each year, on the Sunday following the swim, members of families who have lost a loved one to cancer gather at Captain's Cove for a moving memorial service. The sunflower is the flower of the swim. It is a symbol of light, which represents the beauty of life, the love that we shared, and the hope and promise of the future. Lou is remembered at this service. The swim is an extraordinary event. Equally extraordinary are the people who have come forth to participate. People like Dave Parcells, who in 2000 went all the way to England to join a small and exclusive group of people to successfully swim the English Channel. I did that because of all the people in this room. His intent was clearly to raise money for the swim across the Sound and support those cancer survivors he expected would be waiting for him in Bridgeport when he returned. He now plans a swim across the English Channel and back, a total of 44 miles, something only three Americans have ever accomplished. It's people that make the swim and all of its many facets so wonderful. People very much like you, the swim makes a difference in the lives of cancer victims. Today, there is someone who is in need of your help. Someone whose pain you could help ease. Someone whose life you could save. These are the reasons why we do what we do and why we need you to join us. Remember, it's not about the swim. It's about people. <laughs>